you know, I've always thought of macroeconomics generally and monetary policy is a conversation throughout history. And so again, you can't really understand, in my opinion, the modernist revolution if you don't understand what Keynes was trying to say and what the Austrians are trying to say. And so I think Brennan also gives you a very good description of what the Keynesian thinking was at the time uh, and why there was a reaction to that. Uh, I like the, the, the phrase he comes up with, however, as, a rev as the um, sort of reaction to the monetarism is what he calls the monetary authoritarians. Uh, and this is essentially what I think the mainstream thinking is in graduate schools today, which it's characterized by if we simply give central banks independence from politics, we insulate them, and we you know hire Harvard, Princeton faculty to run our central banks, and, and we just get out of their way, they will do things well. Uh, and, and, and again, it's, the, it's really, again, this repeated emphasis on insulating central banks from politics. Uh, and I think this is why you, for instance, saw a very large number of academics uh, react negatively to suggestions to audit the Fed, because then these things are like, well, you're going to politicize it. Of course, I'll set aside to me what I think is pretty obvious that there, there really there is no political independence of the Fed. I think most of that's purely illusionary in my opinion and, and anybody who really truly thinks that probably has not stepped out of a classroom in a long time. 